I went and got a job in accounting. I was in the collection department for seven years. Y'all don't know I'm dangerous to accounting. I'm, <laughs> I'm just dangerous. And I'm in collections. And you know, you should never put a broke person in collections. <laughs> Never, because everybody's reasons sound good to me. <laughs> not, not, I know it sounds funny, but it was real. Not only did I say, girl, don't you worry about paying that. I'm going to take your name off the list. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody went to jail because I was in I got fired from five different jobs. Yeah. And then I got pregnant with my son unexpectedly. And then at eight months, my son's father went to prison. I had to get on government's assistance to have my baby. I was on WIC, Women, Infant, and Children, to feed my child. And when my son was eight months old, I went to the ATM to get $20 out the bank because I didn't have any Pampers for him. And in order to get $20 out, you got that $20 in. I had $11.42. And I still can't tell the story without getting emotional because it's my story. For two days, I had to wrap my son in, in a towel. But something happened, Steve, in those two days. I was at rock bottom. I was broke, and I was broken. Inglewood, California, my son laying on his back at eight months. I have a towel over him, and I have my hand on his stomach saying, don't you worry, Jelani. Mommy will never be this broke again. And I made a decision. I was bankrupt. And every stinking thinking I had, I was bankrupt and trying to protect my pride. I was bankrupt and trying to be all that in a bag of chips and a bowl of grits falsified. I was bankrupt and trying to not ask anyone for help. I was bankrupt in everything that was holding me and keeping me where I was. I've always talked a good game, but I wasn't doing anything with my gift. And all that thing about potential, I was tired of having potential. I wanted to have my now. And I looked at that baby at eight months, and I said, I want to transform your life. Because you didn't ask to come into this chaos. As an African-American male child in South Central Los Angeles, with a single mother whose father's in prison, he had a 66% chance of going to prison himself. Not on my watch. Mm. Not on my watch. So if I have to be willing to drastically transform myself so that I can become the woman that I know I can be. Right. And that's what I began to do. I was radical.